Ugh, backwards. Here we go. Hey. Something on your mind, darling? I don't know how to do that. I should probably take it back. But, oh well. I could just spec Sabeel to have persuasion, couldn't I? Not all being weird. Look how awesome she is. Oh, she's our lore master, that's right. Mm. I don't found anything I can't loreize. Alright, maybe we will do. Which one can we get rid of? Mm. It's only temporary. Pet pal. Now we do this. All oh, right, can't do that. <laughs> All right. Damn it! Forget that it un ungroups you. Kate is just trying to bury her face deeper and deeper between me and the couch. Goofy dog. Alright, let's go back to Temple. Bam. Well, well, this is more oh, shit. like it. Finally, a structure with taste. Wait a minute. That was Sir Laura. What's this? I think the giant can finally understand this quirk. Oh. It certainly took it long enough. Where to begin? I now. disagree, Quirkus. It does not need to know about the coming of the great the acorns. Great acorn. For us all. Is this Scrat? What happened with the Knights of Dre is our own business. Those acorn worshipping acolytes do not scare me. This is great. No, it is enough for the creature to know that we are allowing it to accompany us so that it may act as our shield against the monsters. The great acorn has many servants. We shall need all the help we can get. I have questions. Me. It has questions, Quirkus. Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing to do. Speak! Shield! What Shield. are your queries? Who are the Knights of Dre? How to explain it, Quirkus? Do you think giants understand chivalric orders? Can they conceive of honor, of faith? Oh, Quirkus, I am not talking down to it. Quite literally the opposite, in fact. I just worry it won't treat a group of mystic squirrel knights forming a doomsday cult dedicated to ending the world with a giant acorn with the seriousness it deserves. <laughs> Quietly wait as the squirrel muses on. Right, Quirkus. Our shield has shown a surprising ability to adapt to new circumstances. We should give it the benefit of the doubt. The thing that you must understand about the Knights of Dre is that they are utter fanatics. Nothing matters to them but the return of the Great Acorn and the destruction of the giant races. Why do they hate the giant races so much? Other yeah, why do they hate the, the giant races? destruction Jesus. of their homes, the yeah, deaths that of their friends, and watching ancestral forest being turned into farmland. I am perfectly in control, Quackus. Those claw marks were probably on your spine already. Mm. Regardless, 
We must stand against them. I alone have the magical expertise to stop them. Not that it matters. No one else will even listen. For that, if nothing else, you have my thanks. Now, was there anything else? I want to know about the great acorn. A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quackers? Surely even the tall folk know that Rivalon was there before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. They carved the Irwood up, and the forests shrank and shrank. None of the original wood remains. But someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn, and the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Where did the acorn come from? Oh, Quirkus, it wants answers. As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from, if not a greater acorn? Could you build a nest great enough to store the great acorn for the winter? Some questions have He's no great... answers. Quirkus, why is that so difficult to understand? The great acorn will come. It will destroy the world, and squirrels will reign supreme forever. Squirrels! I fail to see what's so difficult to grasp. You think that the Great Acorn may return? What do you say, Quirkus? We once believed it was good, but now... No, quite right. As terrible as the giants have been to us, we do not want to see them wiped out. Rather, we must find a way to live together in peace, giants and squirrels. Sure, let's live in peace. Although it would be quite a bit easier to get along if the giants would stop turning our home forests into spears and ships and things, wouldn't it, Quirkus? Perhaps the shield will let them know as much. Okay. Well then, we just talked to Sir Laura. Eyes closed. I didn't even think about the talking to him. Seems to be praying. Either time I've done those that. Twitches. I smell the thing. fog on Told you, Tiger, not to blame. The fog of ones. death. You were there when all my kind were killed. It is your fault. Oh shit! I think this wasn't a good idea. Last of ones. Dead. I oh, lost everything. If you will not accept your rightful blame, then I shall return to my prayer. I am the last of my hide, my son. She cocks her head. If the covenant... She Wait. opens her eyes. Or what? Shall you kill me with your... To lie. It's impossible. No matter she what. She closes her eyes. She's dead. That's a bummer. That means I have to fight all... Alright. We'll go do her last, because I don't want to fight this whole tree of people. That's upsetting! Very, very upsetting indeed. Very, very, very upsetting indeed, Quackus. Alright. Kitty cat. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm gonna go this direction. Ooh, what's that? Alexander's up here. God welcome. The mother tree calls you. Follow <gasps> mother tree. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, let's do that. The mother tree calls. Yeah, I know. Welcome up. Well, I'm gonna mess you up, sucker. Oh, that's what's his name. Her, he, her. Be at ease, Magister Rowe. 
Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms, a gesture of goodwill and peace. Yeah, wait. Gareth notices your arrival and emits an alarming chuckle. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken. My own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Alexander's not Damien and keep his father's promise alive. Um, yes. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip until blood seeps out from the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien, my sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just your father. Oh, you it's could a different forgive bishop? Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. Huh? Oh. Hey. Keep your hands where I can see him. Bishop Alexander's our responsibility. We ain't no seekers. We'll die protecting him. Okay, you do that. Step carefully, stranger, and do as the divine order tells you. Paladin and Magister alike serve Alexander here, and so should you. Hey. Some crazy fuck. These are level ones. Oh, that's not a level one. Chair. Loot all your stuff. It's good to be back What's with the comrades again. I thought I was done for. She gives you a cool and steady look, then turns away. Ifan. Ifan Ben Mest. My killer. Alexander smiles at you. A familiar smile from when he was but a boy in his father Lucian's arms. For a moment, your lips twitch automatically in return, until you remember all that led to this moment. I do hope you are not here to try to kill me again. I think we need to talk. Burning in your mind, why? Why did you and Lucian send me on a suicide mission to kill all the elves? For the same me? reason my father and I did everything. To protect the realm. As that is what the Divine is for. What price all of Rivalon against just one portion? Any Divine would do the same, if it meant saving everything. You should be proud my father picked you. His best right-hand man. He knew you would make it. But he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well, Ifan. He looks at you slyly. Alexander was always easy to read, and right now his face is an open book. He's clearly remembering the conversation in which your fate was chosen. You realize he's telling the truth. It was what had to be done. No two ways about it.
No justification for genocide. I'm sorry you feel that way, Ethan. You weren't raised by my father. If you were, you would understand. The life of some is nothing compared to the lives of all. Here is the truth, Ethan. I'm Lucian's son, and I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me becoming the next divine. My dead body. He's an old god of my said. It makes him think he should be divine above all others. Yep. You've already caused immeasurable suffering thanks to his blog. It's so sorcerer is not fit to be divine, not fit to be divine. That proves I am the only one who is worthy. I have to decide who lives and who dies for the sake of the greater good. That is what true power demands of you. Only I have the will, the strength to do what is necessary. And now that those traitors, Dallas and Breederman, have no influence over me, the way forward is clear. Hmm. I want to know about the council. Your threats carry no weight, but you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me, and I shall help you unlock the council. You must strike down the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. That is my pride. What happened to him in Dallas? She had her accomplice, Friedemann, pose as someone who could train me how to master my god-woken powers. But it was a lie. They sought to hinder, not help. While I was being occupied by Friedemann, Dallas began taking over the Order. I confronted them once I returned from the Hall of Echoes, and the pair of them tried to kill me. They must be Black Ring agents, tasked with preventing me from ascending. They won't succeed, though. I know what needs to be done, and I have good, loyal Magister and Paladin companions to help me see that it is done. You're not the only guy walking. I was born for this duty. As long as he lived, my father groomed me to take his place, to speak for the gods. And make no mistake, Divinity is a duty, not a reward. Others may be able to claim the mantle, but only I can shoulder the burden, the responsibility. Why don't you get rid of the Black Green Leader yourself? Do you really think the future Divine should take such risks? Chicken. Besides, you're the one seeking help. Perhaps you can put your murderous skills to use for the greater good. His actions prove they are not fit to be divine. I'm gonna call him I out. I have given my life to the Order. I will take the sacred duty of divinity with the seriousness it deserves. I will not take disparagement from a turncoat assassin like you. Make no mistake, Godwoken. I do not need to work with you. I will enter the council when I am fit and ready. But you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me. I'm not Perhaps, interested. But I doubt you'll live long enough to find it. There's a price on your head wherever you go on this island, God Woken. Farewell. Oh, he didn't fight me. Oh, there's people up there. I did not realize that. Hello. When first I saw you pass the Shriekers, I thought perhaps the others had come to join us. Colleagues? What are you expecting? Magisters from Driftwood? Loyal to their bishop? And Stanley, maybe? Bran, for sure. I was hoping Harrick would come along too. I'm very fond of her, I am, that Harrick. You were murdered, By sorry. Who? By the cook in the tavern. This. this terrible, ungodly world. The sooner Alexander takes his father's place, the better. He spits over the parapet, shakes his head at what the world has come to, and returns to his duty. Alright, all our people want to talk. You're thinking the same thing. 
Alexander wants to be the new divine. Reign over divine order is soaked in corruption and blood shield. No better.